is Bill for Sparky Channel. And what in the world's going on here? We have half inch EMT coming right here. And we have a EMT fitting right here. And this item right here is called a grounding bushing. So here's a little picture of one I put over here grounding bushing. And this is a 4 AWG ground wire, which we call a grounding electrode conductor or GEC. Then the gentleman put the GEC through the grounding bushing and clamped it down very well. And then the GEC comes down to the grounding rod that has the grounding clamp on it and it is clamped. And the GEC remains continuous. There's no cut on the GEC. The example that I just showed you was from the Ideal National Championship Pro Division. The blue arrow is pointing to where the wiring is. The GEC travels from this panel right here, which is the panel of first disconnect. It travels in the EMT over to here, and then it is attached with an acorn clamp to this ground rod. So this is a ground rod right here, and this is a ground rod over here. They are over six feet apart. And these ground rods are only symbolic. They are not proper ground rods, but they symbolize ground rods for the contest. The contestants are tested by judges on their wiring and installation skills. And the winner actually won $60,000. Today I'd like to show you how four of the professionals wired this area. Then I'm going to ask you to decide which one or ones of the four wired it correctly to code. And then which one do you think did a most professional job? The one that looks most professional. And then after that, I'm going to go to the code book and we're going to go over the code and then I'll give you my opinion of who wired this the best and most professionally. Here's our first example. So here we have the EMT fitting, it's secured well, and then the grounding bushing is right here. And this contestant stripped this entire area of wire here. So we have the, the strip going all the way from here down to here. He's got the acorn clamp clamped well to the GEC. And yes, this is completely incorrect about the grounding rod. This pointed portion right here is supposed to go in the ground, but that's not the contestant's fault, so don't count them out for that. So this is contestant number one. And here's contestant two. And the GEC goes through the grounding bushing properly and is tightened down. And then he's left some insulation on the GEC. And here's your acorn clamp. It's clamped down well. And here is some bare wire here. We got a little piece of insulation out here. So this is contestant number two. And here is contestant number three. Here's your EMT and there is no grounding bushing on here. And this is insulated GEC wire. And here it's stripped and it is continuous. And here's your acorn clamp and it's tightened down. So that's contestant number three. Here's contestant number four. And here's the EMT coming here. And here's the grounding bushing. And he's got a little loop here with the GEC. And he's stripped it. And it goes into the grounding bushing. Got a little piece of insulation uh, hanging in the wind there. But that's being picky. Okay, then here's your GEC. Now, this may be a bit of a problem right here. I'm not sure. He may have caught a little of the insulation underneath the acorn clamp. It is stripped here. I'm just not sure about this. But this is contestant number four. So here's number one. Here's number two. Here's number three. And here's contestant number four. Now what I'd like you to do, decide for yourself which one you think adhered to the code the best and did the most professional work. I'll give you a moment, and then we're going to go to the code book. Here we are at NEC 250.64 E, Raceways and Enclosures for Grounding Electrode Conductors. Now, our EMT in our example is a type of raceway, and the grounding electrode conductor is the green wire in our example. One, general, ferrous metal raceways, enclosures, and cable armor for 
grounding electroconductors shall be electrically continuous from the point of attachment to cabinets or equipment to the grounding electrode. Now that's the ground rod right there. The grounding electrode in our case would be the ground rod and shall be securely fastened to the ground clamp or fitting. Ferrous metal raceways, enclosures, and cable armor shall be bonded at each end of the raceway or enclosure to the grounding electrode or grounding electrode conductor to create an electrically parallel path. Non-ferrous metal raceways, enclosures, and cable armor shall not be required to be electrically continuous. Now I'll give my opinion as to which one I think is the best. And right away, I'm going to eliminate number three because it is not bonded on both ends. Number one is properly bonded, but I don't like it as well as the other two because of all the stranded wire that is showing. Number four did a very nice job, but I think he got a little bit of the green insulation underneath the grounding clamp. So that leaves number two as the winner. It is bonded on both ends. There's not an excessive amount of copper wire showing. And overall, I think it's the best and most professional job of the four. So let me know in the comments section below which one that you thought was the best and why. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.